Hello and welcome aboard the absolutely incredible Hurricane Sun Deck 2700 Outboard Duel. That's right, two engines on the back of this boat. That makes this not only the biggest hurricane on the water, but the most powerful. Also, some incredible upgraded amenities. Let's get started. Take a look at the expansive uh, forward boarding deck we've got here on the 2700. Covered in that non-skid surface, of course. Uh, Pop-up cleats, you see that? Uh, with that Nauta Global logo in there. Just beautiful touches. I wanted to show you this. This is really, really clever. This is a combination boarding ladder and anchor locker. Um, basically, if you have the anchors in there, throw the anchor out, tie it off, and you're gonna be able to put this down back up on top of it. However, if you're climbing in and out, you've also got the option of using this telescope and boarding ladder to get back in the boat. Of course, when you're done, simply drop it back into the deck, securely latches, and you're never gonna trip over that. Up on the bow, we've got these integrated docking lights. You're really gonna appreciate this feature when you're coming home uh, later on in the evening. It's starting to get dark outside. Pulling into the marina, pulling into the launch ramp. This just makes it so much easier to get around. As you move back from the forward boarding deck, of course, we've got this step here down into the uh, forward seating area. That non-skid surface, very, very handy. And you can see uh, right here in the forward seating area, you've got this very convenient integrated self-draining cooler. Notice that it's got this rubber gasket around it. So as you close it here, it's gonna seal up tight and uh, it's not gonna rattle while you're underway. That gives us a chance to look at the incredible uh, seating area we have up here. The bow on this boat is 102 inches and you can see there's room for everybody up here. It's just beautiful. Uh, lots of room even for your legs. Uh, everybody's gonna sit, be able to walk around, get in and out of the boat very, very comfortably. I wanted to point out, uh, now that you can see the upholstery here, um, this boat has an upgrade on it. It's called the Platinum Package, and it's got this Silver Tex quilted vinyl, uh, these accents here. Uh, they're just beautiful. I mean, you're not going to see this anywhere else. Um, also, this textured fabric here, uh, the vinyl is so nice and heavy, uh, very easy to keep clean. It adds kind of a depth, a texture to the uh, vinyl rather than being all one flat color. Uh, to get even more room up here, you can see that we've recessed cup holders back up behind the uh, backrest along with speakers. Uh, also stainless steel, uh, both of those. Uh, very easy to, uh, to hear your music no matter where you're sitting in this boat. Always a cup holder close by. Uh, but by recessing that speaker, you just get a lot more room up here, a lot more seating room. Obviously on a boat this size, you're really gonna be bringing a lot of people along with you and uh, every square inch of this boat is maximized for comfort and enjoyment. Um, carrying over that silver text vinyl over the starboard lounge there, again, those recessed cup holders and speakers, stainless grab handle, makes it very comfortable and secure for everybody up here in the forward part of the boat. Um, I wanted to point out this forward facing lounge here actually has access to the uh, uh, midship cabin. Uh, we'll take a look at that, but that's a really, really neat feature. Just provide extra ventilation and uh, really a way to pass things uh, in and out of that uh, room. There's not a pedestal table here as you can see, but because we had all this space up front, you can see that we've actually added a pop-up table. I mean, how convenient is that? You don't have a table uh, that you have to stow. All you do is push a little clip down there and it latches securely. Might be a good reason uh, to break out the, uh, the blender for margaritas too because we've got a 12 volt receptacle right here underneath this cup holder. So you put your glasses up here, pop that table up, start blending those margaritas. While we're up on the forward part of the uh, deck here, I wanted to show you also this uh, boat is rigged with a go light, which is a remote control uh, motorized spotlight. If you have any issues at all, um, just move that spotlight around, um, seeing animals in, uh, that are out at night and things like that, other boats, 
just incredible uh, to be able to uh, use that remote control and, and swivel that spotlight around. On a boat this size, when you're bringing along a lot of other passengers, not only seating a priority, but storage is as well. And this boat has an enormous no amount of storage on it. I want to show you the forward locker here at that hydraulic uh, assisted lift there. It helps you keep it open uh, when you're getting things in and out. But uh, just look at how deep this thing is. It's that, uh, that poly line storage, very easy to take care of, easy clean. Have what you need, simply drop it back into the deck. Again, that lift is gonna help you uh, ease it down into place. Uh, plenty of room for all your gear in there. This also gives us a chance to uh, look at the upgraded carpet in this boat. Again, it's the platinum package. Uh, we've got this beautiful uh, custom-made carpet here. Uh, it's custom designed for Hurricane and uh, had a really great reaction from it. It's very, very easy to keep clean, beautiful design, and that bright silver color just really looks striking out in the sun. Again, I want to point out all of the incredible storage on this boat. We're at the uh, starboard forward lounge here. And take uh, a look at this. This cushion just pulls right off of here. And I want to show you the locker that we've got. Look at how easy this is. Beautiful self-draining, of course. It goes really far back up into the bow. Um, just an incredible amount of room for all the stuff you bring along for a day on the water. Directly behind the port side lounge is another great feature of this boat. When you pull up to the dock, you really want to make it easy for your passengers to get on and off the boat. So what we've done is, instead of continuing this side of the boat all the way across, what we've done is molded out this notch here with a non-skid surface, of course. You can easily step on to the boat, step off of the boat, right into the forward seating area. No problem at all. Very, very convenient. Also taking the opportunity, instead of just having a step here, why not put another self-draining cooler in here? Uh, perfect, throw a couple of waters in there, some, uh, some ice, and everybody in the forward part of the boat has a refreshment. Other little features like this, how about this netting, which allows you to put some uh, oddly shaped items in here as well. Uh, it's gonna keep, keep it from uh, falling out of the uh, net here when you're underway. Just a great idea, great use of the space there. And if you are an angler, you're really going to appreciate this. We've got integrated fishing tackle storage. Um, just slides right in, as you can see, slides right in. Everything is molded in place, so it's always going to be there right where it needs to be. And simply close that gate when you're finished. Plenty of other storage for fenders and things like that beautiful stainless steel grab handle all the way down everywhere you're walking if you're walking it's a big boat so if you're walking from the forward part of the boat back into the cockpit you're always going to want to know that you've got a nice safe secure place to grab i also wanted to show you even more storage again this is molded in very very deep storage plenty of room for towels and anything else that you want to bring again it closes up tightly when you're underway well, there's a word for helm stations like this, and that word is wow. Let's take a look at the helm for the uh, Sun Deck 2700. Absolutely incredible. Check out this uh, black uh, color we've brought through, kind of a color scheme throughout the entire boat. Uh, black and silver, that, that platinum package on this boat really, really pops. Uh, we've got, of course, a Ritchie compass up here, uh, very easy to read. Uh, Garmin uh, multifunction electronics, that's a, uh, an option on this boat. High contrast gauges right there, very easy to read. 12 volt receptacle in case you want to add something else up here, another uh, bit of electronics. Uh, Sony marine radio with that uh, iPod input there, play your own music while you're out on the water for the day. Beautiful soft touch uh, black and silver steering wheel that tilts. Of course, we've got the, uh, the twin engines back there. We're gonna show you in just a second, but uh, here's that uh, Yamaha throttle control setup for this boat. Very nice, very convenient. Here's that remote to operate that spotlight we told you about a second ago. And take a look at how neat this panel is. All of your controls right there on those oversized toggle switches. Very, very easy to operate. Another thing I wanted to point out is that this boat has a master switch on it. 
So when you're leaving the boat for the day, flip that master switch off, that master power switch, and all of the other functions are going to go down. No more running down your battery because someone left the uh, uh, radio on on low volume and no one noticed. Carrying that beautiful uh, vinyl uh, material back here, again, that Silvertex quilted vinyl, uh, I wanted to show you this captain's chair. Really, really luxurious. Take a look at the uh, headrest here. It's that multi-density foam, which means it has that give right when you sit down on it, and then it's got a nice firm uh, uh, support underneath. And these side bolsters here and those thigh bolsters really feel like it's hugging you into the chair. Um, also, of course, it uh, slides forward and backward, uh, rotates, of course, uh, arms up and down. Very, very easy to get comfortable in this chair, especially with that tilt steering wheel we talked about. We've also got a cup holder down here, one of the stainless cup holders for the uh, uh, captain of the boat. Another 12 volt receptacle. Now remember, if you've got a smartphone and you've got a, char a car charger, that's a perfect spot to keep your uh, electronics charged all day. The incredible size of the 2700, especially that really, really wide beam, has allowed us to not only have an enclosed head, but really build it out as a midship cabin. Got this uh, hard uh, Corian uh, countertop down there with a freshwater sink, uh, plenty of storage. Um, again, that netting, uh, bring it through, put your personal items in there. They're going to stay put while you're underway. A nice uh, win window down there for ventilation. A beautiful uh, berth down there, continuing that, uh, that quilted fabric. Very, very comfortable, uh, with, even with a, uh, a pillow uh, built into the, uh, into the berth there, into the mattress. Um, steps down, very, very comfortable. Uh, easy to get up and in and out of, this, um, out of this midship cabin. And one of the great features is it's got a concealed uh, porta potty. You simply slide it out, um, and when you're ready to uh, flush, it's got an electric flush on there, which is very handy. It's something you don't see a lot on boats this size. Uh, it's just a nice, nice upgraded feature. Back behind the captain's chair, you can see we've got this incredible refreshment center. Uh, beautiful stainless cup holders here, fresh water uh, faucet and sink with this hard countertop. Uh, you could cut on it, it's not gonna have, not gonna have any effect. Um, very, very nice, beautiful, beautiful look to it. Again, adding to that striking uh, interior design we have on this boat. Also got, of course, a, a 12 volt receptacle. Uh, if you're making uh, drinks, frozen drinks, or something like that, very, very easy to uh, serve it up right here from this countertop. Plenty more storage down below. Again, this very secure latch system. You can see we've got maybe put some uh, two liter bottles in here, plenty of storage for your food that you're gonna need, all the snacks that you're gonna need while you're out on the water for the day. And moving around, you can see we've also got a very cleverly designed, dedicated cooler storage area. Moving back into the cockpit lounge, everything is just so well laid out back here. We've got these beautiful uh, stainless steel uh, speaker covers, uh, stainless steel cup holders everywhere. Again, uh, back recessed under the backrest to make good use of the space. But just take a look at how beautiful this upholstery is. This is that quilted uh, vinyl insert that we talked about. Um, look at the styling that goes on here. I mean, it really, really looks like it flows well and very comfortable, high backrest, very, very deep. Tons of storage underneath these seats as well. But look at how much storage you've got here. It goes all the way back here. Uh, all your uh, water sports gear, anything else you're going to want to bring along. Plenty of room for all that as you're out on the water. Now, speaking of design, I also wanted to show you the uh, Bimini top carrying that uh, silver and black theme in this platinum edition. Got that black bimini canvas. Uh, it's got the protective boot on there that you're gonna wanna keep on while you're out, uh, if you're not gonna use it or if you're transporting the boat, but just very striking. Those stainless steel frames, you see how strong these things are. Uh, beautiful and functional. When you've got this bimini top up, even when there's a good wind like there is today, um, you're really going to feel like it's very safe and secure, and it goes very far past. It, it completely covers the, uh, the helm station, so you're going to get a lot of shade out of this. I've taken one of the seat cushions off back here in the uh, enormous cockpit lounge. 
Uh, just to show you, very easy to get uh, to the rear deck into the cockpit if you've been out swimming. But I want to show you, um, again, taking full advantage of this space, why just have a step when you can have a self-draining cooler right here. Uh, very convenient for everybody back here in the, in the cockpit, just like we had up in the uh, forward seating area. Again, carrying that stainless uh, look is just so striking on the water. The stainless steel uh, speaker covers and cup holders, even the lighting system here, uh, provide you safe passage back here is that stainless, uh, stainless grab handle, uh, cleats are all stainless. Uh, if you can see, we've got a, uh, the water fill very conveniently located right by the uh, rear uh, swim deck here. This ladder, uh, this uh, ladder, of course, uh, telescopes down, just fold it down into the water, climb back up, and when you're back in, it nests right into the deck, fold that cover over, uh, and it's very, it's very easy to use, very uh, easy to uh, get out of your way. Also, taking a look, uh, remember we call this a dual uh, outboard. Uh, this particular boat is rigged with uh, twin 150 horsepower Yamaha engines. These engines, if they look a little uh, unusual, are ac actually have a custom paint job from the customer that ordered this boat. Um, very striking and in, very much in keeping with the platinum package on, uh, on this boat. Uh, just beautiful uh, look from the water, again with that silver paint job. Uh, these, uh, these engines really, really strike a, uh, an impressive sight on the water. Another uh, good use of space on this boat, you'll see that we've added this uh, stainless steel fender storage. Um, that's just one of those things that you don't think about until you're uh, just about ready to pull up to the dock. But having those fenders right there, very easy within reach. Plenty of space on this uh, boarding deck as well. Um, lots of grab handles, uh, very easy on and off of this boat. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at the incredible Hurricane Sun Deck 2700 dual outboard. Those twin Yamaha engines on the back of this boat make it the most powerful hurricane on the water. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.